Hey guys, welcome back. It's your host, The Very Most. It's DMZ TV's very own DeMarco. Today I got my boy with me one more time. My co-host is TJ Rocker, two-turn rocker, whichever one you want to call me. Today's episode is Hookah 101, Beginner's Edition. Yeah, so basically this episode is for you guys who never smoked hookah before and you really want to get into it. This episode is for you guys. Hey guys, so me and Rocco work together. We have every material needed on the table here to start yourself a good hookah and a good hookah session. Can't wait. Um, before we start, this episode is actually brought to you guys by Hookah Place in Miami. Shout out Hookah Place. Shout out Hookah Place, shout out Dave and Mickey, man. They are the guys, um, when you go down to Miami, uh, they are the Toys R Us of hookah. They have everything you need. Uh, they actually supplied us with our tobacco for the day, so. Yes. The best of the best. So uh, Rocco, what, um, What's the first thing you need for a hookah? Well, obviously, a hookah. <laughs> He's right. Now this specific hookah right here uh, is actually one of the best to start with, for starters. Uh, this is the Zara hookah. Uh, it's the Spade 2.0. Uh, you're not gonna see this one just yet. That's another video for another day, so. What's next, Raka? Water, of course. Yeah, obviously, water. Yeah. you need your water. Uh, preferably, um, your water levels matter for a good draw, so uh, wherever the hole ends at the end of the stem, you want your water about an inch higher than the bottom. You'll get a great draw. Nothing too muggy or too cloudy. What's next? Of course, you need your bowl. Le bowl. Now, this bowl right here, you don't want something like this. This is something, this is cheap. It's made out of ceramic. It's very light, breaks easy. Uh, doesn't, con doesn't conduct heat too well. Uh, you can throw this away. I'm not gonna throw that and shatter it all over the place. <laughs> uh, what you want is a funnel bowl. Uh, it's very thick. Conducts heat very well. Um, this is why they call it a funnel right here, this part right here. You put your shisha in here. Um, so make sure you get yourself a clay funnel bowl. It's made out of clay, it's not ceramic. This is what you want right here. What's next, Raka? We also can't forget this. Oh, the hose. The hose. Yes, the you hose. Let me see that. Let me see hose. that. The hose is important. Uh, you have most hoses, uh, they're very cheap. They have metal lining on the inside. After like a couple months, they'll start rusting on the inside. So when you're dragging and pulling, you're pulling your shisha smoke along with the rust on the inside of the hose. What you want is a silicone hose. These are the best on the market. Silicone is the way to go. That, that could turn into a joke. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, Raka? <clears throat> Need you a fork. You uh, also, yes. it's optional. You can use your fingers, but you can use a fork as well. For you guys who are uh, professionals, or if you want to learn to be a professional and not get your hands dirty, uh, you can use a hookah fork. Uh, this is actually an a, a oyster fork. Uh, you can use any type of fork. Uh, this is specifically a hookah fork, uh, but it is an oyster fork, uh, so you can pack your shisha. What's next, Raka? And of course, of course, you know, got it. Whew, the you gas. Gotta have, the you gas. gotta have the shisha. You gotta have the gas. The gas, the gas. <laughs> For starters, uh, you guys can smoke pretty much anything you want from any type of company. Um, right now, for starters, I would recommend Blonde Leaf because it's easier. You know, it's great flavor, great smoke. And then you start working your way down to uh, the stronger stuff. So that's the best way to go. Blonde Leaf Shisha. What's next? <clears throat> foil case and you would also want to get up oh, up oh, there you go <laughs> some foil <laughs> now foil there are two types of foil um you have your pre-cuts which uh certain companies sell like fumari here uh they have their own pre-cuts for your bowls or you can just go to home depot um for like some super heavy duty foil or you can go to Walmart. You can find heavy duty foil in a lot of different places. The cheaper, the better, yes, it because is. it's less expensive. Uh, you can just you can cut it yourself on the table. You can use scissors, whatever you'd like. Yep. Uh, definitely heavy duty foil is the way to go. What's next, Rocco? Poker. Get you a poker. A poker, a poker. Yes, sir. You, uh, <laughs> Dutch, what's up, Dutch? <laughs> Who's airing you? What's up? Somebody side <laughs> chick left that here. <laughs> also, you can use one of these, the two. Anything sharp, a nice little sharp point. Too. Now these right here, um, I really recommend. Some people have these. Um, these are actually pretty good. This is a Fumari poker. Uh, it comes with a kit. Now I recommend old school fashioned toothpick because it's easy to find. You can go get a hundred of them in a box, and the hole that it makes is so perfect and so thick. Um, you you have a good you have a good pool. You have good uh, airflow throughout the throughout the bowl throughout the foil. So. 
definitely uh, I would recommend a toothpick. What's next, Rocco? No, you also need coals. You can't you can't have a hookah without coals. Coals, coals are important. If they're around, circular, throw them in the garbage. Go try it again. No quick lights. <laughs> They no need to be cubed, points. they need to be coconut coals, they need to be coconut coated. Um, you get a way better flavor. Yep. Uh, you actually get the full flavor of the shisha, you don't even taste the coals. With the quick lights, you taste all that, that burningness, <clears throat> that fieriness, it's, it kills the flavor completely. <clears throat> also, don't remember, um, you do need a burner. Do remember you need a burner. Um, I prefer portables, anything under a thousand watts. A thousand is the highest you can go. Um, if you want, you know, you don't want to blow anything up. But <laughs> portable burners, a thousand watts, anything below that is fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. What's next? Gotta have your tongs. You can't pick up a coal without tongs unless you That's right. Superman or something. Yeah. I don't know what's up with you. There's all types of designs for tongs. Um, you have the metal ones here that are, that are really thin at the end. You have ones that are much thicker. Um, these are actually, these are really thick. These are heavy. <clears throat> We also have HMDs. These are optional to get. You don't have to buy these, but I would recommend it. I think. Maybe. Yeah, most definitely HMDs. Um, you don't you don't need an HMD, uh, but um, I like HMDs. Uh, my coals. You know, you get your coals, you throw them in. They heat the entire HMD, which burns your bowl evenly, so you're not constantly flipping coals over, blowing them off. Uh, HMD is very much recommended. Uh, you can. There's so many different shapes and sizes of HMDs, um, uh, from the more affordable type to the much more expensive ones. Uh, I'm not going to say much about that one. That's another video. Sneak peek. <laughs> What's next, Rocket? Last but not least, gotta have your mouthpieces if you're gonna be sharing your hookah with people. You gotta know? have the tips. You don't wanna gotta catch have. nothing. No, I don't, I don't know mouth. where your mouth's been. <laughs> if it's your personal hookah, you smoke it without a tip. That's yours. Someone comes over, you need a tip, homie. Yo, yo. <laughs> oh, you gotta remember, always stay hydrated. That's right. Now, Rocco, I think it's time we pack the bowl. What do you think? I've been waiting. <laughs> it's time to pack a bowl. Hey guys, now before we start packing, uh, make sure you start your coals up. Get those coals burning and ready on your burner over here. Yeah. Uh, so by the time you finish packing your bowl and you poke your holes and everything, uh, the coals are ready to go and ready to smoke. Um, today we're smoking a blonde leaf. But why is that red? Don't worry about the colors. They're definitely both blonde leaves. It's just this specific brand, they like to dye their shisha red. Hmm. Uh, Brocco, what, what are you smoking today? What brand and what flavor? Oh, I'm smoking Watermelon Chill by Social Smoke. But I call it Hubba Bubba here. Trust me, <laughs> trust me. If you ever try it, you will say the same thing. That's a good flavor. That's a really good flavor. Wonderful. Today I'm smoking Sorbetli Ice Berry. Love the mint and the berry mixture. Um, so, uh, you ready to pack today? Of course. Let's go. We're packing today. Yeah. Um, Rock is going to be using a fork, the oyster fork. Uh, these are for guys who don't want to get their hands too dirty. Mm. Uh, me preferably, I like to get my hands dirty with it. And oh plus, I like to use it for detail uh, with my bowl. Uh, because today we're gonna be doing a fluff pack, which I recommend with a blonde leaf, a fluff pack. Um, I can really detail it. Uh, the shisha is gonna be right above the rim, and then I detail it with a, uh, a toothpick or a poker toothpick. to where it's a level all the way around. Yeah. So, you ready to pack? Of course. Let's do it. Let's get it. Guys, so we're about ready to put this foil on this. Uh, today we're going to be using uh, we're going to be using the pre-cuts. Uh, he also has one too. Uh, he's going to be poking his holes with a toothpick. I'm going to be using a thumbtack. Uh, we're going to double up these foils uh, because if, you, if you're using if you're using an HMD, um, it gets really hot, so you need double the foil. Um, a single, uh, you can use coals easily. Um, I'm going to be poking. Um, two rows of circles for the HMD and a couple in the middle or cross in the middle if you want. Uh, if you're using one foil with a regular, you would do three sets of circles with one in the middle. Whatever your preference is, just more circles than you usually. So, uh, you ready, Rocco? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright 
right guys, so our bowls are made, coals are on top. I waited about 10 minutes for the coals to heat up. Now, me personally, I like to sit the coals on top of the bowl for about five minutes to get it nice and heated up. Uh, so as soon as you pull it and drag, you got big smoke immediately. Yeah. Um, yo, what kind of hookah is that? I like that, I like that design. This here is the Zara Spade 2.0, the perfect beginner's hookah. It, it, it is, no, no details on that yet. We got a video coming for that one. Don't even worry about that hookah. Now this is like the freezer. Of, uh, of hookahs. If you watch Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, if you want to level up to the big boys, this is the Broly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Matt Pear Simple. Uh, this is a beast. Off rip. I prefer the beginners right now, then you work your way up to the beasts. That's the Ferrari right there. So without further ado, uh, you time to smoke? I need some, I need some, I need some core. smoke in here. I need some big core. clouds. Let me see what you got. Let's see what you got, Rocket. See what Rocket got. Yeah. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about the flavor? Man. I told you, bro, it's couple bubble. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm eating some nice, fresh watermelon bubble gum right now. Now, believe it or not, currently, right now, um, Sir Bentley and Social Smoke are two of my favorite flavors, like two of my favorite brands. The flavors they come out with are amazing. I prefer, okay. um, I'm usually smoking Sir Bentley a lot. Uh -huh. I love the icy, minty flavor behind Sir, Sir Bentley's flavors. I love it so much. Okay. Now, man, that's good. Let me try. Let me see what you got there. Let me see what you're working with. Let's see what you got. Let's see how this bowl is made. Be careful. This is a big, big. <laughs> yeah. Be cloudy over here. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hookah 101 Beginner's Edition. Yes, 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 yes. Before we go, one last shout out to Hookah Place. In Miami. Yo, big shout outs. Yo, speaking of Miami, I almost forgot. How, what, how could you forget this? Where are we going to be March 6th and 7th? Miami Hookah Fair. DMZ TV will be in the building at the yes. Miami Hookah Fair. We're going to be with the Zomo Zomo, group. Zomo, Zomo. Zomo booth. Come say hi to us. Come smoke. Come take pictures. It's going to be fantastic. All, with us. all the major brands and hookahs, you're going to love it. It's going to be fun. Absolutely. So before we go, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget that little bell at the top. Bing, 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 bing. You can get all the notifications on all our new activity we got going on. There will be more episodes of Hookah 101. So until then, I'm DeMarco. I'm Raka. This is DMZ TV. And we are out. It's Two Eternal Raka, DJ Raka, whichever one you want to call me. Yo, today we are having 